Today, we're rolling out the heaviest, Damn. chunkiest, beefiest, I thought that was a refrigerator squad in Madden history. That's right. We're on a mission to find out, can we win a Super Bowl with the fattest team in Madden? So grab your extra large jerseys and a snack that could feed a small village in Africa, because we're about to waddle our way to victory and try to not break the scale on the way there. And here it is, the lineup of curvy captains led by none other, William the Fridge Perry. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. William Perry was the inspiration for making this team, because when else are you going to see a six foot two? 335-pound quarterback who has 94 speed. Probably never going to happen again. So shout out to William Perry. The Fridge leading this team, the plus-size Poon Pounders. We got Christian Okoye at halfback. Christian Okoye is traditionally a fullback, weighing in at 253 pounds, 90 speed, so not the fastest. However, he does pack a punch when he hits. He has very high trucking at... 94 trucking. Our wide receivers are particularly pudgy because most of them are tight ends. Rob Gronkowski, one of the biggest tight ends of all time, is going to be playing wide receiver for us at six foot six, 268. I feel bad for the DB who's going to line up across from him because I don't think there's any cornerback that's going to come within 50 pounds of Rob Gronkowski. We also have Jimmy Graham who stands at a whopping six foot seven. Again, native to tight end, but he weighs 260, so similar size to Rob Gronkowski. However, our best wide receiver is a defensive player, and that's Montez Sweat. Six foot six, 260 pounds, just like the other two receivers we have, except this guy's got 94 speed. And so Montez Sweat is by far our best wide receiver. The combination of the fridge to Montez Sweat is going to be something that you never would have thought you could see on a football field. Vita Vea, defensive tackle, moving to tight end for us, six foot four. 347 pounds. When you look at the gut on this guy, A, you just want to slap it and get a handful right there. But it's no surprise we had to move Rob Gronkowski and Jimmy Graham to wide receiver because we got a 350-pound tight end coming in starting for us today. We got Donald Penn at fullback, and we got no fucking backups. So this is our offense. They're looking thick, they're looking healthy, and they've been eating good. Let's talk about the defense. Isaiah Simmons at strong safety. Now, Isaiah Simmons in real life has kind of moved into a hybrid linebacker type position. He's only got 88 speed, so this is going to be probably our worst guy on the field. He's 6'4", which is nice. He's 238 pounds, which is nice, but he's slow as shit. He's also only an 87 overall, so hopefully we can minimize the impact Isaiah Simmons has on our team because he's by far the weakest guy we got. We got Bo Jackson, 94 overall strong safety. Again, natively a running back pretty thick out there 227 pounds at six foot one a little bit stockier than most other safeties he's got 94 speed 95 hit power 93 man 93 zone this is honestly one of the best safeties in the game moving on to the cornerbacks we got mike evans he's a 90 overall he's typically a free safety but he's six foot five 231 pounds at 93 speed he also gets deep out zone ko and pick artist which are running on him and it's always nice when you have height out at the cornerback position. So if you think Mike Evans is tall, just wait till you look at our other guys. Julius Peppers, six foot seven, is going to be playing cornerback for us. 295 pounds. We got a 300 pound, 94 speed cornerback out there. He's also got 95 hit power, 90 man coverage, 95 zone, very well rounded. We also have Calvin Johnson in the slot. Calvin Johnson is going to be uh, 92 speed, 85 man, 94 zone, 90 press, 6 foot 5, 236 pounds, a little tubby. Calvin Johnson's been putting on a few pounds in the offseason. And then our final cornerback is going to be a strong safety, Cam Chancellor, 6 foot 3, 225 pounds, 87 speed. He's a little bit higher of an overall at uh, strong safety, but. He's going to have to do. There's no other Cam Chancellor cards that have come out, but Cam Chancellor needed to be on this team. He's 225 pounds at 6'3". We got Rob Gronkowski, our two-way starter, starting on the defensive side of the ball as well. 94 overall middle linebacker. This guy's 6'6", 268. We already talked about him on offense. Let's talk about him on defense. 94 speed, 96 hit power, 90 zone coverage, 95 block shed. He can do it all. Uh, he also has Lurk Artist for free and... Avalanche, which is going to be on for 10 plays, and it makes all downhill hit sticks forced fumbles. You know who else gets Avalanche as an X Factor? Ray freaking Lewis. Now, you should really be afraid of this guy if you're not afraid of the others, because this guy really does kill people. 92 speed, 95 hit power, 94 block shed, 90 zone coverage. He also has Avalanche as an X Factor as well. This one's going to be on for 8 plays, and he also gets Lurk Artist. And so that rounds out our entire team. This is, these are the tubbiest boys we could find. The thickest of all are plus-size princes 
Let's go win a Super Bowl. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Underdog Fantasy. We're heading into the most exciting time of the year for sports, and now you can get in on the action. The best way to do this is with Underdog's Pick'em Game. The concept is very simple. You pick higher or lower on a player's stat total, and if you're right, you could win big. The more picks you pair together on an entry, the more money you can win. So, for example, if you had five picks correct on one entry, you would 20x the amount you put on that entry. So a $5 pick could turn into $100 if you got all five correct. Here's an example entry that I won the other day. Underdog gave me a free pick on James Harden, 0.5 points. I decided to pair that with Jabari Smith Jr. lower on rebounds and assists and Colin Sexton lower on rebounds. All three of these hit, so I turned my $10 entry into a $60 win. You might be wondering, how did I get the free pick on James Harden? Well, I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Now, to play Underdog's Pick'em Game, you have to be 18 years or older and reside in a state where Underdog is operational. I'll put the graphic on the screen now. If your state is in yellow, that means Underdog is operational and legal in your state. If you guys sign up at Underdog using code MAZE, they will double your initial deposit up to $100. So whatever you put in the app up to $100, they will match that and give you free money to play with. Additionally, anybody that signs up using code MAZE before the Ravens game on Sunday gets a free special on Lamar Jackson. This is just a free pick that's almost guaranteed to hit. So once again, if you guys sign up on Underdog using code MAZE, not only will they double your initial deposit, but they will give you a free special on a pick. Sign up on Underdog to join the fun. Back to the video. And our Super Bowl journey starts here. Game one against the Pittsburgh Steelers. He comes out swinging with a deep bomb to Darius Hayward Bay, who runs right past Julius Peppers. But we answer back with a couple shots of our own, and we're all tied up at 14. And this is where things started to go wrong for the Tubby Tigers. The 30-yard flat out there, by the way. There's, there should be nothing getting behind that bad boy. That's a... Th what a... What? That boy is tall as shit. All right, I don't know if, if the, he's going to run that same deep corner. I have a 30 out there. If a 30 can't cover this, I literally do not know what can. Okay, 30 got it this time. Did it? What? <laughs> My opponent, he came to play. Can't say the same for our squad. All right, sad sacks of shit out there. My plus-size princes, my gentle giants. They're laughing at our team. They're saying, Tubby, bunch of Tubby, Tubby Tigers, Timmy the Tubby Tiger. That's what they're calling you. I'm not going to stand for that bullshit, no. No, I will not. We're going to change our team name to the Morbidly Obeasts, okay? Because we are beasts, even if we are a little bit overweight. We're Morbidly Obeast. And the Morbidly Obeasts head on to game two. All right, game two, we're going to get Swag Boss 98. Okay, that's our guys right there. He's got a similar team. It looks like, a, again, a Zero Chill theme team. The Zero Chill theme team is just so good right now. It's hard to play against. I don't think Jimmy Graham is fast enough to run by this corner out here. We're going to try it. Did we get him? Fuck! Swag Boss 98, I'll give it to you, buddy. Good dot. But if you think I'm going to sit here and not fucking answer, then you don't know me. Come on, Jimmy. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okoye, go. 90 speed Okoye, go, buddy. Hot! Give me that! We're in the end zone. We're all tied up. Good dot. Oh, that's Avalanche! There we are, Robert! I told you that Avalanche was going to come into play. The sponsor of today's video is, in fact, 1-800-CLOCK-CLEANERS. You call us, we clean your clock. The premier clock cleaning service on the west coast of the United States. Once again, that's 1-800-CLOCK-CLEANERS. You call us, we clean your clock. Pick up the block. Pick up the block. Donald Penn. My extra blocker that I motioned just made the block of the game. I want you guys to watch this. He picks up the edge defender beautifully. Donald Penn, watch him pick up the edge guy who was unblocked. Boom! No, not today. Come on, Julius. Come on, 
Julius, you son of a bitch! You're six foot seven! Go, Okoye. Can we pick up a fucking block? Can we pick up a block, please? Somebody get a block for me in the end zone. We answer. You know what they say about stick work? One juke, two juke, three juke, four. I got a stick work knocking at your door. Stick work gonna make that dick work, buddy. That dick working. Get her. Oh my God, he dropped it. He literally dropped it. Look at the juke, look at the vision. Look at the stick work from this morbidly obese running back we got. No. We're done. We're done. We're fucking done. We're fucking done, guys. Swag Boss 98 got us again, boys. You gotta go down and get seven. I didn't even throw it to the running back! We lost. He covered the running back. I threw the post. I made the right read. I stand by it. I made the right read. Look at this dude. He runs to the running back. I threw the post. I threw the post. I love your videos, man. Great game, brother. Hey, great, great game, dude. You earned, you earned this victory. You played, you played phenomenally, especially down the stretch. Good job. Appreciate it, dude. No more sulking, all right? We're 0-2. It's true, we're 0-2. It's true. But that doesn't mean we're fucking out. How many teams have had their back up against the wall and have come through and made big things happen? Are we next? And boys, it looks like we were next. In the game after that one, we dominated. The morbidly obese team came out on top early, and they didn't stop. A sack on the quarterback gives us the ball back. We score another touchdown, and at 14-0, my opponent decided to quit out. We get on to the next game with a record of 1-2 and two right now. In this game, it was the defense that won us the game. Julius Peppers with an early pick six, and my opponent hit the road again. Now on to game number five. The big boys are making plays. Even David Bakhtiari, the left tackle. We follow up his interception with a touchdown to the 350-pound Vita Vea. After that, it was the Robert Gronkowski show. An interception right there. An interception right there. And let's make it a hat trick, boys. An interception right there. My opponent quits out after that one. We have a record of 3-2 three and two on a three-game win streak. I'm gone. See ya, buddy. I'm six foot six. I know you thought you could sneak it in there, but I snuck in there. Back door. Surprise cream pie style. What are you doing, step bro? Scoring a touchdown. Please put me in the video. I love you. I love you. You're the GOAT. You did kill me, but I don't care. Love you. You're the GOAT. I appreciate it, man. You'll be in the video for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, good game to my opponent, man. Seemed like a cool guy. And now we head into the most important game of the regular season. Game 7 with a record of 4-2. and two. If we win this game, we make it to the playoffs. If we lose, our tubby boys are sent back into the nearest McDonald's. All right, boys. We got lurked again by a familiar face. This man lurks me all the time when I'm doing these challenges. Bush 3. I don't know who you are or what your goal is, but I hope to God you're not successful today. We win this game. We're in the playoffs. We lose. We're sent packing. We fought long and hard to get here. Let's not fold like a lawn chair. Okay, good dot, good dot, good dot. Andrew Luck got us again. I manned him up! Donald Penn just routed the shit out of Isaiah, Isaiah Simmons, man. Oh, I got hit. Bro, I didn't pass, but we're so slow. Holy shit. Holy shit, his team is a zero chill theme team, so they're all fast. Very fast. I'm just gonna run this straight. Yo, he is slow as hell, my boy. Vita Vea, you are slow as shit, brother. Way to get 25, though. Oh, you know, we had him. I think we do that again. I think we just run, he's running a cover two with his safety. He's brought down super far. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Way to get that first, Jiminy. 
Jimmy Graham, I appreciate your work. Keep going. Keep going, Okoye. All right, we're inside the red zone now. This is where shit gets tough. Just hit the throw! He's wide open. There's no one around him. Just get it somewhere close. I don't need, I don't need a perfect throw. That's a touchdown taken off the board, man. Stuffed. Oh my god. Fuck! I thought he ran commit. No way. Jesus, man. Oh, he's gone. We don't have anybody fast enough. He's literally fast in our whole defense. Oh, that is so tough, man. He's just these stretch after stretch. I got to figure out a way to stop this stretch. I'm not stopping the run good enough. He missed the extra point. That's our edge. He missed the extra point. Momentum is now going to go back our way. Watch. Just watch. All right, I'm thinking this is going to be covered too. I'm going to try to hit Gronk on the left sideline. It's not covered too. Fuck. Oh, my God. I blocked my running back. We still couldn't pick that up. Dude, he sent four. We blocked six, and he comes in untouched. That's just so tough. Oh my god, we got annihilated. Dude, he's just playing good D. Like, I got nothing to say. All right, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We're at midfield. Momentum's good now. All right, four minutes. We're going verts, baby. This will be good. Boom! Jimmy Graham, six foot seven. Six foot seven. Just like that. Momentum's coming back this way. I told you. I told you. Bro, no one can... Dude, we are getting smoked in the run game. Come on, somebody get through. Good tackle, good tackle. But man, he's just getting so many yards. Dude, what? He just snapped through. Like, I don't even know how this is possible. Stretch. Okay, okay. Did a better job that time. Come on, I'm back. What did I say? Get a stop and score, and we can take a lead before half. A minute left, we get the lurk. When you play slow, you leave a lot of opportunity to error. You leave a lot of opportunity to error, and I capitalize. Quick reads, he's trying to just snap throw it, snap throw it. I hang low. I, I let him hang low, buddy. It's what I do. It's what I do. I mean, he, he can keep taking those with only 45 seconds. I'm, I'm actually totally fine with that. That's a hit stick with Avalanche. What does he have on him? Outside, get outside, get outside. Come on. Oh, my God. We almost had him. That edge defender, dude, he just couldn't get off the block. No way he's running with 22 seconds one time out, right? Oh, because we're slow as shit. Why are we so slow compared to him, bro? I don't, I don't fucking understand. Bro, we are so slow on the outside to compare to him. He's got like five speed on us, it looks like. See you, buddy. That's seven, too. Oh, almost. Hey, Ray Ray's coming through. Two picks for Ray Ray. We're getting the ball back at half. We got nine seconds to make some magic happen. Let's see what we can do. Oh, no. Oh, no. He got three. Oh, no. I'm an idiot. Why did I do that? All right, my bad. My bad. We're down two at half, and that's my bad. Not a lot of games are won with nine seconds left, but a lot of games are lost with nine seconds left, and that's exhibit A. Ooh! We almost took that bad boy up the sideline. Would have been nasty. No. Yes. Yes, Jimmy. I forgot he was six foot seven. The ball looked like it was going to sail right past him. I'd circle. So open. I want to throw it late, but I didn't trust myself. All right, I got an idea. Feet. Feet of Vea, the 350 pound tight end. 
with an acrobatic catch on the sideline. What a huge play. Give me that, boy. Come on, man. All right, we took our lead. The question is, do I go for two? I don't think so. I just got banned for alcohol, tobacco, and drugs. And I gave up a kick return in the same breath. I just got banned for alcohol, tobacco, and drugs. All right, let's go down and get seven, huh? Can you block somebody? 87. Block somebody. Why throw behind him? Why make that a tough catch? He's open. Just, just hit him in stride, buddy. Give it to me. Go, Jimmy. Go, Jimmy. In the end zone. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Listen, boys, I'm debating going for two. I kind of want to. I don't know if I should. I think I should. Ah, no, my guy's tired. I'm, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. He just has, he has the same play. I'm losing it. No, he ran it. Oh my God. Can we get outside, please? How did he run it there? Oh no, I didn't get it up. Oh my God, he ran it. Get there, get there, get there. You're so slow. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. Like, look at how slow he is. I'm hurting. I'm, my heart is hurting. No. The RPO was so open. We lost. We lost. Because of another fucking fumble, man. It's the second time Okoye's fumbled. I'm losing my mind out here. I truly am. I truly am. I, I got no words for that, man. And now it's like, hey, I should have gone for fucking two, right? Now I'm rethinking that decision to not go for two. I should have gone for two. Because now I'm down nine, and I would be down eight. I should have gone for two. I'm, I'm regretting it so hard. Game's not over. Game's not over, but now we're fucking down. I think that was a soft squad out there. The wheel route made him pull down. He's playing so aggressive out here. All right, we got to get a stop. We got plenty of time. We got to get a stop. We got to get a stop. We got to get it now. I almost didn't see that. It was definitely a soft squat. If I don't have the wheel route right there, he's running deep. I, I almost didn't see that. That was freaking close. Why? Dude, he is so fast. It's insane. Dude, he's faster. I don't know. What's Michael Vick's speed? Because I even my fast guys that are supposed to be fast, like Bo Jackson, they just, he, he's so fast. Get there. Get there. Come on. This is it. This is our stand. Come on, man. Give me my ball. Two minutes to go. We're in this. I thought he fumbled again. My heart almost stopped. I don't understand. Get off me, I'm Vita Vea. You know who that is? That's Vita Vea, son, get off. Nice, way to block, boys. I love that my run game, dog shit. His run game, elite. Composure. It's called elite composure. Ice cold veins. I'm a freezer boy. I'm a glacier boy. I'm so icy. Oh, yeah. Basic verts, baby. That's all you need to do. Because I haven't ran it all game. I haven't been running basic verts. Tell me the clock keeps moving. How can he stop the clock like that? that is, that's not fair. Come on, boys. This is it. This is it. Almost there. No. 
Yes. We did it. Five straight. We're in playoffs. We had to work our ass off for this one. But, boys, we did it. Five and two. And we're headed into playoffs. We fought off the stream snipers. We fought off the God squads. And our team is headed to the playoffs. And with that victory, we head into the playoffs. We started 0-2, had to win five in a row to make it, and against all odds, we've done it. We're starting game one on the defensive side of the ball, and on the opening drive, my opponent rips us to shreds. However, we answer back with an offensive drive of our own, capped off by a William Perry rushing touchdown, and my opponent takes over with the ball once again. It became very clear at this point that his game plan was just to feed this X-Factor Derrick Henry, so we made it our mission to shut him down, and we get him in a fourth and 19. Unfortunately for us, we end up letting him convert because of an unfortunate mistake. I got caught on my D-tackle! After that, he decided to go back to Derrick Henry, but we knew the game plan. We stuffed him on second down, stuffed him on third down, and you guessed it, stuffed him on fourth down. Is that man a turkey? After that, it was smooth sailing for our plus-size Poon Pounders. A big dot to Montez Sweat takes us inside the red zone. From there, Vita Vea scores the touchdown. And then my opponent just started to throw up prayers. We get the interception and to close out this game with a minute left. We put a Robert Gronkowski nutsack promptly on his forehead. Up 14, my opponent quits out, and we head on to playoff game number two. We're one game out of the Super Bowl at this point, and the stakes could never be higher. And no, that's not a pun because my players are fat. Boom, interception, Mike Evans. We're already up six, and the defense is getting us turnovers to extend that lead further. Montez Sweat Nutsack on your face. At this point, my opponent decided to show a little life. He gets a fumble six with a Montez Sweat of his own, and that's what I get for talking shit. He now has one point lead, but at this point, we decided to buckle up lock in and secure our spot in the Super Bowl. A touchdown followed up with a Rob Gronkowski pick six, and our two-possession lead is back. It quickly turned into the Rob Gronkowski show yet again as we get another pick six on the following drive. At that point, this game is essentially over, but let's get another pick six just for good measure. Great block from Isaiah Simmons, and we close out the final game in playoffs with a defensive masterclass. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the Super Bowl after winning seven straight games. We got our game. Bunny. I've played Bunny in the Super Bowl before, I swear. I swear. We got Bunny FS213 in the Super Bowl. Las Vegas Raiders. Houston Texans. Not a real possible Super Bowl matchup, but we'll try. We're starting with the ball, boys. We're starting with the ball in the Super Bowl. All right, he's got deep out zone KO on the outside. He's got Julius Peppers and Calvin Johnson. He also has Jalen Petre at safety. He's got a very good team. Four down lineman set right here. Holy shit. Holy shit. Whoever was manned up on my post bagged the hell out of it. That's not a good way to start. This looks like man coverage to me. Could be man coverage. Could be man coverage. It ain't man coverage. It's zone, baby. Outside, go. Come on, baby, we'll take that. 22 yards, we'll take that. Move the chains. Oh, no. He got the feet down. He got the feet down. Jimmy Graham. He got the feet down, baby. If I can get the time, we're looking at Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Greasy. Jimmy Gristle. I don't like that. Good blocking, good blocking. Vita Vea, way to stay up. Second and one, boys. Second and one. Every time, baby. We're dicing it up. We're dicing it up. I'm looking to hit this RPO if I can. Outside, 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 outside. Go, Jimmy! In the end zone. Opening drive in the bowl. We get seven. Exactly what we needed. Defense step up. In there, in there, like swimwear. What are we in there like, chat? What are we in there like? We're in there like swimwear. All right, you ever been to a beach? I want you, I'm going to paint a picture for you. You ever been to a beach? And you see a nice little, you know, tight ting walking down, uh, walking down the beach and... Uh, Let's just say the bottoms of her suit might be up somewhere where, uh, somewhere, somewhere up. Corner out ain't even open, buddy. Yeah, hit your flats, buddy. Corner out, hey, get, get laid out, buddy. Give me that noggin, buddy. Give me your head, buddy. Scream at his A-gap. I'm all over that, buddy. That's actually a phenomenal read. I can't even be mad. I was so busy playing at the sticks. I didn't even notice that. Good good dot, good dot. No RPOs, please. Thank you. Give it to me, Mike. No! Great read. Man, again, the wheel right up the sideline against the cover two. 
That's a good read by him. Montez Sweat, look alive, buddy. Cover three. Look alive, Montez. Feet down. Feet down, Montez. Feet down. That's a first. Don't fumble now. I don't care what happens as long as you don't fumble. Don't mess this up for all of us, okay? Pick up the block and go. Come on, baby. We're moving. We're grooving. And we're feeling so good. Cover three. Easy. He hasn't switched out of it once. Hold on to that ball, buddy. If we get the wheel route from Sweat, we're going to throw it too. I'll tell you that much. I really threw that so late. Oh, that's on me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I should have thrown the post. I thought he was going to run with the post. That's on me so, so bad. Oh, that's, oh, that's so bad. No. Thank you, Mike. Way to get back, buddy. Shout out to Mike Evans. Hall of Fame wide receiver. I fall flat on my face. Mike Evans picks me back up. Not today. Close, but no cigar, buddy. Who's going to win? Nobody. Fucking hell. Okoye, I'm sick of you and your 90 speed, buddy. You're so slow. You can't run by anybody. You can't run by anybody, Okoye. They're right trailing in your back foot. Your back pocket every time. There's no way that's caught, right? Switch it up, switch it up, switch it up. I haven't even set my audibles. Oh, God. I'm there. I'm there. I, dude, I swear I was there. I swear I was there. I don't know what just happened. You're joking me, bro. What is happening? Where's our D-line? Where's anybody? What the fuck? There was nobody. He flipped the play. There was nobody manned up on the receiver. It was a QB spy over the receiver. I think there's a glitch in that formation. I, I should not be calling man coverage against that. Pretty sure there's a glitch in that formation. Right side when he flips the play. Look it. There's nobody manned up on DeAndre Hopkins. I had to run over there with my user. I don't know what happened. It turned, it turned the man coverage into a QB spy. All right, lock in. Let's get seven. Lock in. Good catch. Good catch. Good catch. Good catch. Good catch. Come on now. Lock in. Lock in. Get those feet in, Vita. Get those feet in, Vita. All right, we're all tied up, boys. We can get a stop. I know we can. He gets ball at half, so we actually need a stop. Really bad, we need to stop. It's fine, inbounds, it's fine. Yo, right over. Oh, he dropped it, let's go. No, they gave him the catch. They gave him the catch. Oh my God, we ran into each other. Come on, bro. That's unbelievable how slow we are. That is unbelievable how slow we are. But at least we got some time. We got two timeouts in 38 seconds. We got some time. Save the timeout. Save the timeout. Save the timeout. No. Not good. Not good. We can at least get three out of this, but I used my last timeout. That was such a stupid play. I shouldn't have done that. That's it. Come on, man. You got to hit the throw. You got to hit the throw because it's a touchdown. That was a great read. I can't lie. Oh, my God. That's tough. Give me that football. We clean clocks around here, buddy. You know what number we call? We call 1-800-CLOCK-CLEANERS, the premier clock cleaning service on the west coast of the United States. They're the sponsor of today's stream because you call us, we clean your clock. That's 1-800-CLOCK-CLEANERS. You call us, we clean your clock. See, circle's not as open as it looks, man. That's the same pass we threw before half. Good 
catch, baby. That's a first down, Robert. That's a first down, Robert Gronkowski. No, I threw pick. I thought he was coming down on the running back, man. I just keep making mistakes. I don't know why I threw that. I don't know why I threw that. Dude, can we just, can we just figure this out? I'm blitzing nine guys off the right side. He still finds a hole. He's, re he's really going to rely on this and just try to take the clock. I think that's what he's doing. I mean, no one's manned up. I don't understand. If they're not manned up, why aren't they playing the run at all? Get off. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Third and 11, baby. Make him work. Make him work. Get there. Mike, get there. Take it. Take it, Mike. Come on, baby. Let's get seven right now. Let's get seven right now. We've gotten our turnovers. Our offense needs to step it up. Let's get seven right about now. These dudes drop everything, I swear. I don't know how long I got to wait for that outside. It's so open. I can't take three. He got it, baby! Fourth down. In tight coverage, Jiminy Graham, Jiminy Crickets, my guy. No. So much stuff open. Not that, though. Not that, buddy. Not that. You tried it. You tried it. But I wouldn't have tried it if I were you, in fact. I wouldn't have done that. Give it to me, please, Gronk. I am losing my shit out here, boys, because that's a tutty. That's a, that's a sweet tutty to give us a two-possession lead. That's what that was. Pick up a block, go. Pick up a block, go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. We're doing so good. Hot one. Little Caesars. Hot and ready. First shit gets real. Because I just threw a pick six. Why would I do that? Why in the fucking world would I do that? Block, go. Oh my God, we almost got through there. He's gonna call timeout, isn't he? Hold up that trophy, William. Hoist it up high, William. Hoist it up, William. That's the fridge parry right there, buddy. Eight straight. They didn't believe in us. They didn't believe in Rob Gronkowski. They didn't believe in us.